Okay, welcome back to another vlog of Cody Cooks. Fucking <laughs> with Cody. <laughs> so, what's the, on the menu today then, Chef? I'm gonna make some pamphlet. I'm gonna make some chicken Bihon. Which is the thicker noodles? Bihon. Pancit manuk. Pancit bihon manuk. Whichever one's the thicker noodles, right? Because we've got. Where's the noodles at? There they are. So these are like thick noodles. So now, the only difference is, because it's harder to get over here, yeah? I had to get egg noodles because I couldn't find rice noodles. But noodles is noodles, right? So we're going to go with egg noodles today. Because you got to remember, we're having a food drought in the world because <laughs> everyone's mm. buying everything. And also, we're not in the same country as we are over when we're in the Philippines where it's easier to get these things so when it's cooking with Cody and we're in England it's like a what's the word what's the word improvisation that's the word we're improvising we're improvising with what we've got but my attempt is going to be pancit manok bihon style okay guys so the chicken we've got some carrots the onion salt, garlic, I have black got actual pepper, onions also. And what's that? Soy, Soy sauce, sauce. Chicken stock. We don't like green beans, so we haven't got them. And we couldn't get cabbage. Again, we're improvising, okay? Mm. This is what you need to remember. We're improvising. No bashing. Getting them potato wedges ready then? Yeah, now I always make potato wedges. I always leave the skin on because we like the skin. And what they're just good to go with everything because because we love potatoes and I doesn't like potatoes, so just cut them in half and then into quarters. And then you throw them on a tray. Just cut my finger off on the knife. Seasoning, garlic and herb today. I use different ones, depends on how I feel, <laughs> to be honest. Completely random, yeah? Yeah, that's how I cook. I kind of just throw things in and then it always seems to come together. And I think the key is, if you're confident, then it works. But if you're like, ooh, will this work? It kind of just falls apart. Whereas I'm like, you're going to work and you're going to taste nice. And it happens. So then you spray it with some oil. And then you give them a little wiggle. I'll put like I'll put onion salt on as well so onion salt um, garlic granules sometimes I use paprika sometimes um, I put a bit of salt and pepper in there as well but not always and then you just you just whatever that is I can smell it smells really good by the way you just go a bit nuts throw it on don't have to be tight get right involved now I'm just going to put some onion granules on as well and then so guys if you want to make them caution wedges caution these are these are literally or good. cody's wedges rather yeah they, these are caution specials because i didn't get this recipe from anywhere specific but what is that onion salt jesus you, you've put a lot of salt on there we're gonna like don't start judging i cook these all the time when was the last time you made wedges <laughs> exactly <laughs> Don't you tell me about how much of this and that and the next thing I don't want to have some like high cholesterol or anything, you know what I mean? Well, that's the first time you've ever been concerned about that. <laughs> and it's only because he's on camera, so don't you even start. So, according to the recipe we're following on Google, you have to uh, saute the garlic, onion and the carrots. All at the same time. All at the same time. So Cody's just going to be cutting up the carrots just and like the onion. Just to look like they are and over there, you know, it's quite tedious to be honest. So guys, carrots chopped. Cody did a good job there. Can I just say, I appreciate, I appreciate you all when I order pants it now because that carrot chopping has got to be the worst job. So tell me a little secret. Do you give that job to the people you don't like in the kitchen? I reckon they might have a cheese grater and they just grate the carrot on no, them. No, it's not grated. I've done, it's not grated in pants it. It's like, it's like this, look, it's like, Strips. Hard work. Life. So now, you just need to cook the chicken. 
and then the next part would be to mix the garlic, carrots and all that jazz together. Remember when we went shopping the other day and I said I'm not buying normal onions because I've already got chopped onions and if you want fresh onion you have to chop it yourself. It tastes better though, doesn't it? No, it tastes exactly the same because what they do is they chop it, put it in a bag and then they freeze it. it but exactly freezing it doesn't make it the taste the same. It does. It freezes everything about it. So, I'm not saying that we can't have a fresh onion, but if you want a fresh onion, you can cut it. Will you show me how to cut it? Will, that will you direct me? <laughs> yeah, I'll direct you, but I'm not doing it. Alright. Alright, let's do it. Because I did say, I'm not buying fresh onion. I haven't got time in my life to be cutting You actually onion. have, because you're in lockdown. <laughs> no. So this is when you actually I value do my time. time, and I'm not chopping onions, because... It's gonna make me cry. You just stood there and cut all the carrots. I'm not chopping onion. Do you know why? You can buy chopped onion already. And I did. I bought it. It's in the freezer. It's waiting for me. Can I buy a chopped carrot like that? No. <laughs> no, I'm mean joking. Chop. Mm -hmm. I right. need a knife. Okay. What knife are you gonna use? Is that one? <laughs> no. no. That's a bread knife. That's how you cut bread now, bread. Like this? Yeah, for that's the sharpest one you got. That's small. <laughs> right, so which way? Right, so you cut it in half. No, other way. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't sharp enough, is it? Jeez, oh. Oh, here we go. This is the first time Chris has ever done anything remotely linked to cooking in his life. Cook all the time. Right, let us know in the comments if you want to do cooking with Chris and he has to cook one meal. <gasps> I think that's a great idea. Yeah, you would. Oh my days. Right, so now what do I do? Straight right. down the middle. Now you need to peel your onion now. Right, okay. Chris is not listening to my direction so it was pointless him asking. I said, don't do it like this, it's all gonna fall apart. And he went, okay, I'll do it my own way. Wow, this is terrible. Slice, you don't rag it apart, you have to slice it. <laughs> Slice, you're going all the way down and then pushing it with the knife to try and get it off. You go, ch -ch -ch -ch, slice it. Slice, 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 slice. Don't push it with the knife. Oh, it's because it's all logic. <laughs> it does not. <laughs> Slice, stop pushing it. See, look, that's better. Kai's gonna be so proud of you. Mm. By the way, guys, <laughs> I cut all of that myself. Look at that, fantastic. <laughs> look at the mess. All the laughing that you was doing, yeah? Yeah, laugh now. <laughs> pro, <laughs> absolute storming pro. Look at it, look Can at that. Just Gorgeous. Can we just do an action replay when the onion went... <laughs> <laughs> they said fresh onion only. See this, Chris is... that is what I've delivered, guys. I've delivered you the fresh onion that you asked for. Okay, guys. So, we have some average Joe carrots. <laughs> decently cooked chicken. Absolute professional onion. Now we've just got to combine it. When Cody pulls a finger out, get a move on, love. I'm starving here. <laughs> What's the guy look for hungry? Because that's what I need to learn. Okay. So onions. Professional onions. Don't forget the professional now, all right? World's most marvellously chopped onions exactly. of life. Exactly. Best onions you're ever going to have in your... Correct. In your pants ever. Correct. Garlic. Now we like garlic, so we're just going to roll with the punches and see what comes. Am I right, guys, in saying that correct is tammy? I think I might be right. That's either correct or incorrect. Is he tummy or not? See, it's going brown. That's so You've tough. burnt me lovely onion. <laughs> <laughs> you've burnt me onion. That hard work I put into that and you've just burnt it. They're not burnt. They're burnt. Look <laughs> how black they are, guys. That's just ruined it. Oh, you're going to ruin my absolute sanity if you carry on. <laughs> no, that's sauteed. Saute means go brown. Brown them up. You add the chicken into the sauteed uh, onion, as you do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
and then you just cook it for two minutes. What's that smell? Crappy nostrils around there. It smells very bee honey, I must admit. Bee honey? Yeah. Now I don't like a lot of onion um, oil guys, so I always just use a little bit of water instead of a lot of oil. Next part. Carrots. See how I get on with them. Good job now, I've done that extra carrot in it. You're going to do one more with that? Yeah. So again, just in case anyone didn't hear at the beginning, we're not putting them green beans in because we don't really like them. And we couldn't get any cabbage, so we'll make an improvised pants it. It's not the same with whole cabbage, I'm well aware. But we'll have to just do pants it part two mm. when we can find some cabbage. <coughs> to, it says to um, soak your noodles for 10 minutes before you, you add them to your mixture. So that is what I'm going to do. Don't think they will quite need 10 minutes though. So I've got to separate this and keep the juice. So I'm going to do it like this. We accidentally skipped a step. <laughs> <laughs> we accidentally skipped it. So we have we to forgot the chicken stock. So we had to we just had to add a little chicken stock. I like to get the actual liquid chicken chicken chicken. I let's try it. I like to get the liquid chicken stock instead of block. the block chicken mm. stock. So we just added a little uh, chicken stock to this liquid because we forgot that step. And um, we appreciate that at this point you're going to say you've done it wrong. But we're going to just roll with it, okay? Like I said, this is improvised. <laughs> and I'm really sorry. That's quite a strong smell now. Mm. We messed up. Should we just give it another little? Let's throw all this in so it's got all the flavour, and then we'll just redrain it. Yeah, we'll do it back. Give it a little hello, hello, mix, mix. Okay, so we've just redrained and reflavoured the chicken, carrots, onion with the correct <laughs> liquid, which is left. Now, it says. Put in your juice, put your pre soaked noodles. They're pre soaked. Because they're nice and soft. There they are. And this is what's going to give the noodles the Canton flavour. Or the Bihon flavour, rather. The pancit flavour. The pancit flavour. Behind is how thick they are. I knew that. <laughs> this is going to give them the thick flavour. <laughs> <laughs> the potatoes are done. The wedges. They're a bit burnt. How much more? I need some more. more in there. Let's try. They're hot. Ooh, that is burning my fingers. Ooh, that's good, dude. Oh really? Because you know, if you remember rightly at the beginning, you went, "Isn't that a bit much onion salt?" Hmm. Remember that? I take that back. So, uh, so I've checked the recipe, guys. Now everything in here gets tipped into there, cooked for one minute. I mean, like we're 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 doing this video and telling you as if like you need to know how to cook it. Like we're some like you know, sh master chefs of the Philippines and. <laughs> we're learning. We're learning. I, I, I fully appreciate everyone's going to like fully correct this in the comments. And I apologise in advance if this does not look how you expect it to look everyone. I'm very sorry. Oh, come on, that does look good though. Does it? Yeah. That looks good. Now give it a smell. Does it, it smell does, like the Philippines? It, 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 it smells nice. It does smell nice. Does it smell like the Filipino style? Oh, it smells really nice actually. Let me have a go. Mm. I suppose we have to just wait for the taste test. Does look good though. We managed to get there. It's been we a bit of a calamitous, uh, a calamitous effort today, guys, but we got there. Look at all this washing up Chris has got to do. I've, I've done the cooking. You cut an onion. <laughs> you cut one onion. <laughs> <laughs>
one onion. Mate, don't take that away from me, all right? <laughs> you cut the onion really well. I'm so proud of the way you cut the onion. It was really, really... And this would not taste the same if you would not have cut it in the way that you did. I know. Thank you for, uh, for your acknowledgement more than anything. Mm, so that means so I ain't got good washing. Is that, is that right? Pa'alam means goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you telling me goodbye? <laughs> Why? Oh, because you're doing me, I didn't. Woo! Yeah! Okay. Spoon or fork? I was about to say, where is it? I'll just slide it in, shall I? Uh spoon. Salama. Okay, so Malang Anaman. That's what I supposed to say before. <laughs> yeah, she said Pa'alam to me and I was like Why are you saying goodbye? Oh, my bad. Here is my attempt. Well he's gone for a second by without saying anything, so that's a good start. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. Mm. Surprisingly, is. because it was an absolute catastrophe making it. But and that is nice. I think, to be honest, my onions made that. I think, <laughs> if it wasn't for my onion cutting skills, guys, I don't think this would be half as good, but this tastes pretty legit. Like, surprisingly, I'm quite surprised, but obviously I saved the day, so, you know. It carried the team. <laughs> no, mm. no. Mm. I must say that is nice. Two out of two. Yeah. This is pretty accurate. I can't lie. It's not exactly the same, but it's pretty damn near. So we we, we was missing a few ingredients. So it's not going to be the exact same. But that is as close as we're going to get over here with the stuff that that we had. Unless the shops restock anytime soon. But I'm not going to lie. This is actually really nice. Real I'm quite good. impressed. I'm such a good chef. Mm. So, I think we can say, guys, 2 nil to Cody. Obviously, I'm taking half the plaudits today. Which? Thank you very much. So, thank you very much for being with Koshin Go Cooking. Koshin Go Cooking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say Cody, but I have done half the job, so yeah. And, um, half a job, Bob. We'll see you in the next cooking vlog. I don't know when it will be or what it will be. I don't know what we're going to make now. But, I mean, your suggestions will be needed, but make it something easy for us, guys. I mean... Not necessarily easy, but just remember that, obviously, over here, we can't get the same ingredients as what you can get over there. So I think that, for the most part, we'll get as many as we can and make it as close to the recipe mm. as we possibly can get it. But there's going to be some times where we're going to miss some ingredients. So... Thank you very much for watching and enjoy your dinner. Enjoy your dinner and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.